Wood is a much different character. He's a yeah. much broader, much deeper, much w- wiser. He 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 has seen things that has changed him. So I keep surprising him with my deliveries. Like, oh fuck yeah, of course, because they're still writing from you know from 2000, 2010 Because they had there's, there's so much work to do, and so I just came along. So let's I can adjust this for you here. But again, they they do such a great job at at capturing the essence of woods it makes my job very easy you know i mean what i'm talking about is fine tuning you know, i'm talking yeah. about changing you know f- you know flipping a word around like you know you know fuck you to like you know fuck this you know it's just minimal changes but yeah they they write for me very very well they have and they have gotten you know it's it's much easier now for us to figure out what the hell Woods is going to say here. What's he going to do? Yeah. And some and my job is to surprise them more. It's like okay, we had that, but let's try this. You know. So that, that, again, that, that's the beauty of of our collaborative environment is that nothing's out of bounds. You know, no no comment is left. Uh, you know, look, looked at asparagingly. So right or disparagingly. Yep. Did I answer your question? This sounds a little, little vague, but no, no, no. I mean that that yeah. no, that's okay. Yeah. Um. But one one thing I was going to ask is the the difference between. Um. I mean, and it may seem obvious because I've now seen you and and I had before. Obviously, I mean, your face is instantly recognisable. It's weird, but in the UK, um, the films that you're in, a lot of them haven't actually been released in the UK. Um, it's I think they're American audience films, to be honest. Yeah. But we have a lot of them as well that don't get released worldwide as well. But. Is it different? Is it really different? I mean, acting with... You're still with Black Ops, acting with someone in front of you. I know you're in mocap, but is there really a difference, like, acting on a set with, you know, it's all one big set, or acting on the Black Ops mocap stage? Is it is it different at all? For Are me, there things you need to remember or adopt to, to, to better you know, practice that? What, what, what has happened to me is that it's like a switch I have. I just click it on. And I know what to do. And I'm not going to answer that question because I don't want to analyze it. I just show up sure. at my jobs and I do so much. See, for me, it's all in the preparation. Like, Woods, was, Woods happened because I read a book by John Plaster called um, uh, Studies and Operations Group. Um, John J. Plaster, he's like the foremost uh Lecturer, he's a, he was a, he's really, Woods is based on this guy. Um, it's a book, and I actually had read this book, and I, you know, Generation Kill and Commando and all these, because this is the role I play. Yeah. So I did a lot of research on this, and Vietnam has always been a fascinating time for me to, to so I, I'm, I'm versed in that, anyways. So for me, it's about having this preparation of information. I want facts. I want to know who, what, when, and where. I want to know why I'm saying stuff. I don't know. I want to know where I am, how I got here, where I'm going to go. Why do I care about this guy? Why don't I care about? This? I want to know every facet of the of the uh, of of the scene. And talking about that, I mean, is that available to you? Do you have that library of resources where you can ask someone as Treyarch or on the stage? Why the fuck am I doing this? You know who is yeah, this I do guy? It all the time. Yeah, you I do actually. It all time. Oh, that's that's nice. That must that's, be good. That's really good. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it gets funny sometimes. I stand there, I like get we're as we're ready to roll. I go, what the fuck am I? What the fuck am I? Wait, really? <laughs> Where am I? Get? Okay, I'm here. You know, and it's it gets to be you know like wait a minute, wait a minute. Why the fuck am I shooting him? What did he do? What okay, he done it, wrong? Got yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. You that's know? nice because I guess that could be quite frustrating otherwise. So that, that, well, again, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a tribute to the collaborative spirit of, of, of the Treyarch environment it, where, where I'm free to not know and ask that question. And again, I think a lot of the tr- reason they trust me so much is that I come loaded for quail. I mean, I, I, I show up ready. I mean, I, I'm, I'm yeah. off book. I got, you know, I've got every, I, I demand information. I call them up. I go, like, bug the shit out of these guys. You know, I, I, I want to know every detail. I want to know who you're hiring, why you're doing this, you know, what's going on. So I really dig for details. So when I show up there, that's which you know, all the work is done at home in my backyard. Just yep. walking, you know, doing, walking back and forth trying to figure out how to say that one line. This is Nam, baby. No, yeah. this is Nam. From my, this, from, sorry, go on, continue. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying is like, for me, the, the, it's so, I do the same thing for the, every film I'm in. Uh, a play it's the same process um, there are some differences uh, but n- not really I mean controlling your voice controlling your body controlling your you know guiding your emotions to where you want them to go and having them appear at the right time 
you know, you're compressing compressing an emotional arc. Yep. You know, sometimes you got to do this, especially when you do commercials. You got to go from like being a raving lunatic to uh, you know, the nicest dad in the world in, in 12 seconds. Well, yep. in life, that doesn't happen that way, but you got to master these little clips of emotion and kind of jam them together in all this one little this brief segment. And so that's, you know, again, but that, that's across the board. You have to learn this to be, you know, to, to make a living, you got to be able to do this efficiently. So now you sound incredibly involved with this. I mean, from the mocap to to the kind of post production stuff, you seem to be there. And don't, and don't don't call it mocap. Call it performance capture because mo- motion capture is is something else. You know, keep this straight. Performance capture is when you capture the entire performance. Motion capture is just the body. It's like the stunt guys do. They run down, they tumble, they fight each other. They you know, but they're not really doing the, the lines that. Be, Performance capture is like Avatar. It's, it's a complete performance. And use use performance capture because when I say motion capture, right. I don't think about it. You know, I, I'm not okay, stuck. sorry. Yeah, I didn't know there was a definition there. Oh, yeah, Huge okay. definition difference. Right. Yeah, absolute okay. difference. Yeah. See, but this is so alien to us that, that we, we don't know anything. This is your life. I mean, we don't know what that means, to be honest. But okay, that makes Now you do. Yeah, definitely. Um, what I was going to say is you seem involved with the whole process from start to end. Uh, I've done a couple of interviews and talked to other people and without any names, some, some big name actors who have been involved with Black Ops and, uh, and World at War specifically. Um, Gary Oldman's one who's you know, from my land. And you know, it yeah. seems strange that... Is it alien that you are so involved? Because I don't imagine... I know what he's like. Um, I've known him for a while. And it just seems strange that... I mean, it must be so lovely for Treyarch that you're so involved because he doesn't seem to... Be, I know he's involved, but you seem to be there from almost start to finish, to finish in some it, ways. Yeah. Um, whereas I'm oh. assuming... And you said it the other day, people kind of swan Come in, and go. do their bit, and yeah. don't go. Um, yeah. is, that, is, that, is it normal, or is it? are you one of the kind of purebreds who will actually do I, that? No, I just think this is a unique situation at a unique time. Yeah. I think it's just... I'm the right guy at the right place at the right time. Um, we again, it's just a testament to the the, the collaborative spirit at, at Treyarch. It's a testament to the guys who run the place. That you know, one is it make it, it make it a place for me that I want to spend time. And yeah. again, I like everybody. Every I have, I walk in and these are all my friends. There's nobody I wouldn't go out and have lunch with and spend, and spend time with. In fact, I do. At least once, twice a month, I have lunch with guys at Treyarch. Yeah. Even when we're not shooting, just because I like these guys. They like me. We enjoy the process together. And they've come to trust me. They trust my input. You know what I mean? They actually they, they, they value what I got to say. And that makes me, that encourages me to want to go the extra mile. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that, that, I mean, that must be unusual, though. For, for someone of is. your caliber to, to be able to spend that much time doing it, that is, that must be very, very nice for them to have at their hands. You know, that's uh, that's definitely good. Um, go on, sorry, Dalek, another one. Oh, well, that was actually all the questions I've actually written down. But um, I was just discussing earlier with a friend about the video you posted earlier about the whole how would survive the explosion, and you said go back and play the campaign and just think of. Reznov as Wood and some parts of that were just so incredibly mind fucking it just <laughs> it just uh, I couldn't actually put it into words I don't know what exactly I'm asking well the thing is I can carry on from that there's a point yeah, after Woods um, has the bandolier you know he explodes and, and then his shadow reappears and there's a part after that that we then find out that Reznov was just a figment of um, Mason's imagination. This is going on three or four missions. And it, at that point, the idea that he was Woods from the point that Woods died up until that point, I think it's in numbers, I can't remember, it seems that that can't be true because looking at the actual chronology, the timing, it, it, it looks as though it couldn't have been Woods all along because, you know, Woods, it's just a figment of Mason's imagination. But don't answer it if it's stepping into the realms of Black Ops 2's questions or whatever. But it just seems weird that, you know, he jumped out the window, then his, you know, we then know that Woods is still alive because he's literally there. Um, and Reznov adopted his body and, and, and whatnot, and Mason thinks that it's Reznov. But then down the line, we realise that Reznov is not 
even there. He's dead. Yeah, well, he's yeah. been dead all along, and that person yeah. does not exist, though. Is that stepping into realms? I think we should leave for Black Ops 2, potentially. Um, I can't... I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer a question with a question. Again. Remember what I said about opening your mind and looking for details? Yeah. I I'm do playing that. The same, I do I'm that playing the same game as Treyarch with you guys. Okay, it's the same thing. You've got all your answers there, but you're looking for the easy way out. You're looking for the... You, you want the teacher's manual. You want the teacher's edition. You know, the teacher's edition has the test, has all the answers. The book has all the answers yep. in it for the test. Yep, that'll do you're me. looking for that. Yep. If you've got so, one of them, because I could do with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I kind of have that, but it's a lot more fun for me to have you guys figure it out and throw I it agree. back at me. Yeah, I agree. And there's one person who commented today who got it right. 